Ooh, hey y'all. It's Friday. Happy Friday. New vlog comes out tomorrow. Y'all don't pay attention to my hair right now. I'm getting it done tomorrow. Hold on, wait a minute, because this is a new video. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to another one of my vlogs. To all of my new subscribers, hello. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I was super excited. I was, um, my subscriber count just kept going up and up and up. Y'all really like my previous uploads. I love y'all. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. If you are new here, my name is Kenzie. Make sure you hit that subscribe and notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload. Join the gang. You're going to love it here, I promise. All right, y'all. So it's Friday. I'm off work. I just got off. It is 5.48, so I've been off for like 20 minutes now. Took Dior for a walk and everything. I am about to go to the urgent care. You guys, I have not been able to hear out my right ear since I believe Tuesday. I took a nap on my lunch break and I woke up and I could not hear out my right ear. So I have done everything that I can at home. So now we're about to go to urgent care. Um, so I will update you guys when I leave the urgent care. It's like six months away. So hopefully it doesn't take long. They're only open until eight. But I'm going to tell y'all what happens and everything. I'm just like, what could it possibly be? Like, at this point, I've done so much, like, home remedies, the peroxide. If the video looks weird, you guys, I think it's the elevator lights. I'm so, so sorry. But, yeah, I've done a lot of stuff, and it just hasn't worked. So, with that being said, I'm going to update you guys in, like, the next hour or two and tell you guys what happened. See you in a minute. Y'all, I feel like every time y'all see me, I've been looking a mess lately. I really haven't had much time to do anything. Um, I feel like I've just been so tired. Well, it is that time of the month. I don't know about y'all, but it's like, it exhausts me. And my cramps the last two times have been so bad. I don't know why. So it's just been putting me down. And yeah. Um, so I had to go to Target <laughs> to get all this stuff for Dior, um, I don't even think I even told y'all Dior is pregnant. I don't know if I even told y'all that. So, I was just a little scared that she might go into labor. So I have one and got stuff um, that's in a welding kit, but I didn't order because I was gonna take her to get an x-ray tomorrow to see, excuse me, to see when it would be time for her to go into labor. So I got a heating pad for the puppies cause you have to have some sort of heat. Um, I got some gloves because I'll need gloves. And I got this knot sucker just to make sure it's like no fluid in their little mouths and stuff when they come out. Um, of course, I got me some stuff. I, oh my gosh, you guys. I have this and I think it's like, I want to say like an apricot color. I don't know. But this, I feel like I showed y'all. This is a, a summer must have. Like, what? It looks so good on you. Like, with your clean skin, your fresh lashes, fresh hair. G girl, it's giving. Um, I also got a whole bunch of towels. Because I need towels um, for the delivery process. And to dry the puppies off. So, I bought that. And then, I got... I got some puppy pads to help absorb any fluids. Y'all, I'm really nervous. I'm excited. Um, I'm going to be a grandma there. Like, what? I know I'm going to cry when she gives birth. I don't think this is for her. I got me some loungewear. I really wanted every color. This ain't even my size. This is a size small, so I'm hoping I could fit it. Because I needed a medium, but they didn't have a medium. These are so nice though, and the material they're just quality. Like, I really like them. And then I got a sports bra to go with it, this little sports bra, yeah, super cute. They have black and like an olive green. I really wanted black, y'all know black is my color, but they didn't have any 
Um, and then I just read up on some that time of the month essentials. I told y'all I wanted to use that little container. I told you guys I wanted to use that clear bin for like that time of the month essentials. So I got packs of that stuff to put in there and I'm gonna do that too. But yeah, y'all, I ordered me a pizza so I can have food all night because I have to edit. I'm not going anywhere tonight. We're staying in the house. And plus I need to be home because I had got some advice from the lady whose dog is her baby daddy's mom. If that makes sense, y'all catch it when I'm putting down. I hope so. So her baby father's mother's owner maybe that's better i talked to her over the phone and she kind of gave me some advice like she just let me know like i need to be home especially during late hours because like when it's quiet at night and nothing's going on that's when they start going into labor so i'm like i don't need to be outside i'm gonna show y'all my pizza so i got my pizza from this place called donato's y'all it's a honey hot pepperoni pizza this is so good too y'all like so freaking good 10 out of 10 would recommend so let me update y'all about the urgent care it was super super quick thank god so basically i had to get my ear flushed because the texture of the wax was really slimy and it was sitting really low like i guess below my eardrum or something i don't know they said that that would have been impossible for me to get it out by myself so i had to get my ear flushed and it actually felt really good in this ear and it was like this ear was like there was barely anything in it but they said they would just clean it anyways it was uncomfortable getting it clean in this ear, but this ear, it felt so good. It's like a flush. Like, you could just feel, feel it. It's like, just going in and out. So, they just use warm water and peroxide. And you hold this cup right here, and everything just flushes out. And so, she showed me. It was literally, like, barely anything. And she was like, it really wasn't a lot. It was just, like, the texture and where it was located. So, yes, it was the earwax. I'm so happy there was not a bug in my ear. Y'all, I started to think a lash got in my ear because, you know, when your lashes shed while you sleep. I don't know about y'all, but sometimes I wake up, a lash might be on my pillow. So, I'm thinking, like, maybe I had my ear there and I might have turned and it might just fell in. Like, I was just thinking about so much stuff. <sighs> so, yeah, you guys, I'm home for the night. Um, I'm actually about to edit my video that I need to upload um, tomorrow. I'm actually about to edit my Saturday vlog for tomorrow. I really haven't had time to do it this week. I've been so tired. Like, I'm not going to lie. And just, like, putting together furniture and just, yeah, it's been a lot. So, I'm going to do that. Um, I'm about to take the Dior outside. I'm going to edit. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow, we are going to take her to get her x-ray as long as she does not go into labor tonight. Um, if she goes into labor tonight, I'll try to show you guys a little bit of it. Um, if she doesn't go into labor tonight, I'm taking her to get the x-ray in the morning. And then after that, I don't know how much time I'm going to have left, but I do need a, my nails done. I want to get them cut down. I want to go back short. I need my toes done. I really need a fill, y'all. I know y'all probably like, girl, but no, it's time for a fill. Like, it's really time. Um, and I want to go back short because I'll be having trouble putting on my jewelry. And then... If I can make it to the nail shop, that's what I'm going to do. But if not, I'm going straight to my dental appointment. I have to get a tooth pulled. And then after that, I may have some space in between. My hair appointment's at 6. My dental appointment's at 1. So I think it's going to take an hour and a half for that appointment. But the stylist did ask me if I could come earlier. Um, if she asked, I told her I could. Just I'll let you know when I get done with that. So, yeah, if I get my hair done early, I would be happy. I really wanted to get my hair done first thing in the morning, but it's okay. And then um, if I don't make it to the nail shop at the beginning of the day, I'll go before I get my hair done. So that's the plan. I really wanted to go tonight, but I just don't have time to go tonight. But that's the plan for tomorrow, you guys. But, yeah, Sunday, we're going to be doing other things. We're going to be doing household things. Um we went to ikea but it was really rushed and i didn't even get to vlog so i'm probably gonna go back to ikea i don't know yet but y'all that is what's on the itinerary for tomorrow i will see you guys manana good morning you guys it's saturday morning it's 9 36 i am headed to take dior to get an x-ray ultrasound see what's going on when she's gonna deliver we made it through the night thank god i went and bought all that stuff from target just to be prepared but 
we made it through the night. I'm super, super excited. So hopefully I have enough time to order the woven kit from Amazon. And then I have packages at home. What are they doing? Oh, they look like they was going straight. <laughs> oh my God. I have packages at home that I need to get out the Lux Locker um, that I did not get yesterday. But for right now, we are headed to this vet. You guys just pray that this is a smooth transaction. And when I say smooth, I mean we get done in that timely manner. It's not high, not super costly. Like I'm not trying to spend a lot of money. Um, the person they referred me told them told me that they're pretty affordable. So, so that's good. Only thing is, I want to get out of there at a decent time. Like I want to be in and out type of stuff. They opened at eight. I should have got there at eight, but I was trying to handle something, and it just wouldn't happen. So we're headed there now. I don't know if y'all can hear me. I have the window down. Here. But anyways, you guys, I'm trying to get out of there early. Because if y'all can see, my hair is not washed and blow-dried. My appointment ain't till 6 o'clock, but it's just a simple fact that I'm trying to get my nails done. That's really what the, what the tea is. I want my nails done. Oh, no, sir. I want my nails done, and I want to go after I leave here. So, it's already done. I can go get my tooth pulled, and then come back to the house, wash and blow-dry my hair, go to the appointment. I need to get hair from the beauty supply store as well. But that shouldn't be hard. That should be easy. But yeah, y'all, we are headed there now. Um, this is on the east side. I stay on the north side, so I'm not really too happy about that. But what I am happy about, what I done lint rolled my shirt so many times this morning, and there's still stuff on it. Like, what is that? Um, what I am happy about is about to figure out what's going on with her. So then my mind could be at ease. I can know what's going on. So I will update you guys if I re can record. I will let you guys see everything. But yeah, she's tripping. Let me console her. I will talk to you guys when I get there. Hopefully. Tell them that you're pregnant. Um, these are my nails. Um, these are my nails, and my toes are white. Yeah, so I'm gonna get some braids, y'all. This is a style that I've had before, so it's not nothing that I've never, you know, I never had. Yeah, y'all, that's the update. Um, this day cannot get any worse. Okay, so basically, I'm having a entire breakdown. The day was extremely horrible, but I was trying to still have a good day and you know go to my hair appointment i got to my hair appointment two hours early mind you for the stylist so i got there at 4 4 15 she was not there i was waiting on her and my original appointment time was six o'clock so apparently i bought the wrong hair according to her on her booking site it says specifically that she does not use the hair that i bought but that's not the case she does state on her site that she uses 52 inch pre-stretched expressions braiding hair. However, the beauty supply store by my house only had 58 inch pre-stretched expressions hair. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, that's only a few more inches. She could just like cut the hair or whatever she got to do. And I also bought two different color blondes because my hair is not just 613. Like, let's be clear. So she also said that that was an issue as well because she doesn't mix colors. And she was saying that she only used 52 inch hair because the 58 inch um, tangles. Then the gag about it is the beauty supply store was 10 minutes away and she was like, oh, it's traffic though. And I'm like, okay, like really? So I could have wanted to switch the hair out because my appointment was originally scheduled for six o'clock. But yeah, y'all, that's basically what was going on. I was super hormonal and I just had a really rough day because y'all know it was that time of the month, but it was so much going on that day. And this was literally the cherry on top for me. But it's okay, y'all. It's cool. Like Maybe I'm just not supposed to get my hair done, I guess. I don't know. 
I really don't. I'm gonna have to talk to y'all later. Better when I get my hair done. But, I mean, this do just as good as the camera, so it's good. All right. I am home and I am in a better mood, as y'all can see. So what I ended up doing was sitting in the car and crying for like 20 minutes. And then I got myself together, calmed down. I started texting stylists who have same day availability or same day booking. They just have like a fee, a squeeze-in fee or same day fee. And so I pulled up the salon that the girl who did my braided ponytail, the last, the last person that did my hair, the salon that she works in, I pulled it up because it's salon suite. So it's nothing but like stylists, makeup artists, nail takes, and stuff like that in there. And so I just started going down the list. And so I also hit her up too. She actually has a really affordable same day fee. It's only $40. So I ended up getting two pigtails, two braided pigtails. So I ended up getting, and this is the bag. You know, nothing too major. But my hair is done, so I'm I'm happy. It's not gonna last me for two weeks, I don't think. But it's gonna last me for some time, you know what I'm saying? I have like probably a good week with it. But she answered and she was like, yes, girl, you could pull up at 7.30. And then I was happy she said to come earlier than that. I am currently putting the island together, like the rest of it. I might go somewhere tonight. I don't know, me and my friend trying to figure it out right now. But yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Um, I'll get back on here and let y'all know like if I'm going somewhere or not. Okay? Do y'all like my hair? I think it's really pretty. I like how my color is growing out. But yeah. Let me know in the comment section down below how you feel about my hair.
you guys the kitchen island is done like being built not done i'm not done done but i'm done building it i am so proud of myself for building that kitchen island because i wanted to give up i did not want to finish it so um i got the marble here to change the countertop i'm gonna clean this first and then i'm gonna change it i'm about to open it so we can look at it together and see what it looks like um again it's not gonna be an it's not gonna be an exact match to that but it's gonna be close enough to where it's like okay but one thing about it everybody that got this floor plan don't have no kitchen island so and i don't know if people would actually do what i did and buy one from home depot they might be okay with it they probably have a table like the model or like the tour show the table right here i just didn't like that but i got a smoothing tool kit for this so there's no air bubbles or anything and hopefully this is like super simple and not difficult because i really don't want to struggle doing this so i'm kind of nervous about the corners that's what i'm nervous about like how do you do the corners i might do this tomorrow and not do it tonight just because it's going to require a lot of thinking but we are going to open this i'm just going to see i might be able i may be able to find a youtube video to help me but i'm about to open this so we could look at the color of this this does not look like that at all but we're gonna make it work like i think it'll be fine i really did try but it's definitely not the same color i mean i could always i could always return it but honestly i guess it really will just depend on like what side it's on when i put it down it's not too off it's really not too off it's just like a shade lighter um and yeah let's see if it's wide enough okay it's wide enough and it's long enough perfect so we're good i'm about to try to see if i can find a youtube video of it showing me like how to master the corners because that's really one thing i'm really nervous about is the corners but this honestly should not take me long because, yeah. Once I do that though, I'm gonna know I'm gonna be in love with this. I'll be back, you guys. I'm either gonna see y'all in the morning or I will be showing you guys the finished product of me doing this. Good morning, y'all. Happy Sunday. I just finished showering and washing my face and stuff and all that other hygiene stuff you do in the morning when you wake up. I'm about to go and get a battery for my key fob. And then we are going to get the car cleaned. The inside needs to be cleaned. And then I guess I'm going to go get Harley. We are going to go to Ikea today. I want to look around there today like in depth instead of rushing like I did in the last vlog because they were about to close and I was just really in and out because I had something to do so I'm going to do that. <clears throat> I might stop at Starbucks too on the way to get in the car clean because it's just calling my name. But yeah that's the plan you guys. I am wearing my two piece essential set. It's a like sports bra shirt though like because like it's like a cropped. This is a cropped shirt, a crop tank. That's how I feel. And then these biker shorts. I don't know how to describe the color. Just changed the battery to my key fob. So far, everything's working. I'm about to put, so you could take this button out and you could just use the key fob to start the car. I guess when your battery dies. Oh. We're back in business. I really need y'all to see this Starbucks line. Like, I'm in the back of a parking lot. Like, this is insane. Ain't no way we all want Starbucks right now. There's no way we all want Starbucks right now. Like, what? It's such a pretty day out here, y'all. 
is so pretty outside. Let's open this. I'm gonna open this because they need to make sure it's clean. <laughs> so I'm opening it. I don't have no cash, so I don't know how I'm supposed to tip them. They better have Apple Pay and Cash App set up. I'm about to be next ordering. Thank God. This line crazy, like. Um, yes, may I have a grande iced matcha tea? But I want to, you know, change some things in it. Um, I want oat milk for the dairy substitute. I want to add strawberry puree. In the cup, like mixed in? Yes. Okay. And then I would like five pumps of the vanilla syrup. You said five pumps of vanilla? Yes. All right. And then I want to top it off with the vanilla cold foam. You got it. Anything else I can do for you? Um, two, 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 two. A cheese danish, and that'll be all. All right. 1334. Thank you. Yeah, YouTube has been playing with me. Uh, what the video the video was supposed to be up like uploaded on Friday the video has been done it's been ready but I don't know what the issue is so in my mind I'm thinking I'm changing the time on my car right now so I'm looking at the screen in my mind I am thinking that this is 11:36. So, so basically my video was exporting to my iCloud on my computer which has never done that before so i'm just assuming that hold on i'm just assuming that there we go did it change it's so cool how it changes on like the actual like clock clock not the digital one because there's a clock clock in here you know but anyways y'all what i was saying was so when I was exporting it, it was exporting to my desktop, but going to iCloud. It's never done that before. So I basically turned iMovie off of iCloud and then I re-exported the video because the video, okay, so first when I was uploading it, it was only uploading 14 minutes of the video. The video is like 27 minutes long. So I did it again. I brought, I watched the video like that I exported off of iMovie just to make sure it was the full video. It was the full video. So then I, uploaded again to youtube it did the same exact thing and so then i'm like okay what's the problem so i exported again yesterday re-uploaded again yesterday but now it's stuck <laughs> y'all do not move to atlanta like we don't have no more room this is what we mean don't move to atlanta we don't need any more people we don't i've been sitting here for probably five minutes almost 200 let's go i told y'all it's only up from here period We could get these for um the laundry laundry detergent and the bleach. So these are only two ninety nine. These are cute. Have to keep moving so that we can get out of here. There's like a oh I like the black faces. Those are cute. These are so cute. I really like those. For $25? We need real flowers in here if we do this. Yeah. I guess we can get some flowers from like Target or something. Yeah. Then that means we're going to put this back. We don't need this. favorite thing to get every time I come to Ikea. The plants are new. I didn't know they had these, but the Swedish meatballs with the 
jam and the, soup, the mashed potatoes is like my fave. And we got some Izzy's for our drinks. I like that. These are cute too. They're only $17.99, but I'll get that from my side table. So as you guys can imagine, I literally came in here for, I said I wanted to get mirrors, glasses, and like pictures for like hanging on the walls. And y'all see I have way more than that. We were supposed to leave at 4 o'clock. It's 4.32. Like, we should have been gone. But we did sit down and have lunch. So, you know, that does take up time. But we are finally about to check out. And I'm going to show you guys. The damage, you would think I'm like a rich housewife or something. Like, how I just be picking stuff up. But, like, when you come in here, it literally makes you do that. Like, you literally just be picking stuff up. Like, ooh, 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 ooh. big this five below it it's freaking huge like what we're gonna get one of these for dior to take to the dog park this is so cute you know she she's gonna love it because she, she can't eat this because she always be trying to eat something can't eat this hi thank you They have other stuff over here. They have blankets and shirts and socks. Oh my god. And they have a cinnamon roll backpack. A cinnamon roll backpack? You're kidding. Cinnamon roll is my favorite character. Let me see. It's a squeaky one. They got a Hello Kitty face too. Yes, We're gonna go to Target by the house. Y'all know it's not a day if I don't attend Target. Like, what are you talking about? We have to go to Target. I need to get a tripod, the mirrors for my room, and I need to get some command strips to hang the pictures that I got for me and Harley to go over our beds. She has three pictures, I have two. And then I'm gonna go to Publix. So I'm gonna make baked chicken wings and probably I said I wanted to make collard greens, sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes and cornbread. Can't fry anything because Harley had a dental procedure to where she can't have any fried foods. So yeah. But yeah, you guys, I think we're making pretty good timing. It's 5:37. Even though we left IKEA later than I thought. Everything else was kind of quick because like everything is right here. So it's like as you come down, you're hitting everything. So I went back to that beauty supply store. 
she told me that she would they would take care of a return for me and when i get in there and i something told me that that was not gonna happen they could only do an exchange like i'm like do y'all realize this braiding hair was 42 dollars? i was like braiding hair is not 42 dollars. i bought six packs of braiding hair for the style that i have and it was only 26 dollars. like y'all are taxing so they basically let me do an exchange and i got a whole bunch of little products we got some rice water drops that says for growth and split ends so we're gonna use that and we're gonna test it out and let y'all know how that works and i just got her a baby hair toothbrush a bonnet and we got some shampoo and conditioner Thank you so much. Have a good night. Thank you. Okay, so y'all know I've already been to Starbucks today, so this is really OD for me. Lavender ice matcha oat milk drink. And we're going to try it together. So I'm going to pour some for Harley. So it's, I guess it's not too bad because I didn't get a whole drink. Y'all, I don't know what I cut my hand on, but it's bleeding. And the lavender's at the top, if y'all can see. Oh, nice. That looks good. Okay, you should put the lid back on it. It's good. It is. The lavender frappuccino, I got. Oh, you got a lavender frappuccino? Yeah, it's like that. Harley is a Starbucks vet now. She be going to Starbucks without me. She be customizing drinks and making all this stuff. And recipes. I don't know why. You you shouldn't be drinking no frappuccino, no cappuccinos. No, it wasn't a coffee one. Because it wasn't like warm or anything. It didn't have any coffee. This is so freaking good, y'all. Okay, y'all. We did our big one today. This was... Not on purpose, it was definitely by accident, but I don't even know if I have enough strength to go through everything with y'all, but this whole wagon is full from top to bottom. So yeah. And um I got some flowers for myself today. Yes. This the it's wouldn't fit in the wagon, so I had to carry it separately. But we're home. I'm about to start dinner and yeah, the camera's dead, so I apologize. I won't get no tutorial. Yeah, hey, I gotta tell you. I was looking for my camera because I'm like, okay, we're gonna go to Walmart. We're gonna get this tripod. So I was gonna vlog at Walmart. Do you guys know I left my freaking camera at Target? I was so scared that somebody was going to steal the camera. I was so I'm literally flying down the street. Like, I'm like, somebody gonna steal my camera. Like, I have to get back up there. Like, how did I leave my camera in Target, y'all? How? I'm like, oh, we making good timing. Like, we finna get everything done on time. We just got home and it's 8.46. I said I wanted to be home by 7, 7.30, but it's okay. Like, I'm not even finna beat myself up about it. Stuff happens and it is what it is. So I'm about to go ahead and get started with dinner. Y'all see me again before the night is over. Subscriber count has officially hit 204 subscribers. Yay, lit. So we're cheersing to our 204 subscribers and- Cheers to 204 subscribers. Success, all 2024, period. Yeah, I need to get some cups, y'all. Don't judge me. But I'm gonna eat this food. I made candy yam. I'm, ooh. 
Is it good? <laughs> the yams are so good. Bro. I told you it was good. Bro. These yams is so... What? What? I never tasted yams Hold that on, bro. good. But yeah, this is good, y'all. I didn't my mini vlog. My bad. Let me finish my food and... Um... I'm gonna show y'all the stuff that, that I've put up so far in the house. Harley got some Serta pillows. So I put them up in uh, the pillowcases because she had four pillowcases. So I had bought some Serta pillows for her, just like I got me some. I don't remember what they are. Are they Serta? I think the pillows. And I'm mounting our TVs. I already got the bracket up in both our rooms. I just need to put the TVs on the wall. We're gonna put her pictures up, then she's going to bed, and then we'll finish doing whatever we gotta do in my room. But I'll see y'all in a second. Let me handle this because it's really late. Like, really late. Bye, guys. I'll be back later. It looks really nice. I really like this. I'm so happy it's finally finished. I wish there was a way I could figure out how to have the cord plugged up without it looking retarded because I have it. Plugged up to an extension cord, but that's not gonna work. I'm just doing it so you guys can see the aesthetics. I just wanted to show you guys how this looks in the daytime. It looks so pretty. I really like this. And even though these are not exact matches, it still looks good. And this is just like a lighter. Look at the flowers. This is so pretty. I bet people probably thought these were fake when I posted them on Instagram. I did, I tried to record for y'all last night when I cut them up and did the water and everything. This one came out so pretty. Who on earth actually did this? Okay, y'all, these are the pictures that I got from Ikea that I'm going to put above my bed. So, you guys know what this is right here. Like, what is this? Do y'all know where this is at? Can y'all see it? My blinds are open, so you might be getting a glare. I really don't know where this is at. East 41st Street. I really want to stay in New York, but I don't know. So, I just got some white frames, because y'all know I'm doing white, gray, and black. I'm sorry, the aura is, like, going crazy. All right, so it's, like, a colorful popsicle. And then this says, be wonderful. And then the colorful lollipop. And these are the frames that I'm going to use. I kind of wish that I didn't get this color because it's that color. But I could probably put that one in the middle and then put these two on the outside. Because the other frame that was like this was this color. And I didn't really like that for her room. So yeah, these are for her. And then these are the frames that I'm going to use. And I'm going to hang all three over her bed. <clears throat> y'all i'm about to go to class i'm really tired i don't want to go to class i went to sleep every day 4 45 in the morning i was so determined to get as much stuff done in the house as possible and i honestly feel like i don't know if it's just me i'm tying my shoes you guys but i honestly feel like there's literally not enough hours in the day like time really be flying like there's no way that i can't get simple tasks like simple errands and tasks done like you look up and it's already time for bed it's like well how am i supposed to get anything done that's just how i feel time has been freaking flying and i'm so over it so i just be pushing through like oh i'm gonna get this done i don't care what time it is and then I ended up going to bed at four something. And then also I had to figure out what was going on with my YouTube video not uploading because it looked like it's been uploading since Friday. And I'm a consistent, I've been consistent on YouTube. I've only had two inconsistencies when I was moving out of my place and let me clean my belly ring. And when the last time when my video wouldn't upload because of how long it is. But other than that, where is the stuff to clean it? Other than that, I've been so consistent on YouTube. So I was super determined to get the video up because, like I said, I had just been sitting there since Friday. And I stayed awake 
and made sure. Oh, there you go. I edited the video and everything, so I was really like, you know, this video going up. Well, the video is up now, and if you've already watched, thank you so much. Thank you guys for commenting. I love communicating with you guys so much. Um, and thank you so much to subscribing to my channel, all my recent subscribers. Y'all do not understand how much that be meaning to me. It be making me so happy. Like me and my daughter literally, well y'all seen us, we literally cheers to it. She'd be so happy for me too. Like this it's it's everything to me. It might be little to somebody, maybe little to y'all. It's not to me. 205 people is a lot of people. Yeah, this world's big, but 205 people is also big. Just think about putting 205 people in a room. That's a lot of people. So, it means a lot that y'all F with your girl. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for joining the gang. You're going to love it here, baby. Yeah, y'all, I'm really tired. <laughs> But I'm gonna go. I wasn't gonna go. I was about to just say, forget it. But I had ate some Chick Fil A, and I'm finna take Harley to her dad's house, and I'm gonna go. So class starts at seven. I'm gonna be late. Oh, that that's okay. As long as I show up. I'm wearing a mask today because I know these people don't went out of town and stuff because of spring break. So yeah, I'm gonna wear a mask tonight. But I'll see you guys when I get out of class. Um, we're going to bed early tonight. But I will put the pictures up. Like, that's like the last thing that I'm going to do. I'm not going to put the mirrors up today. I decided I need to wait for... You got your shoes and stuff on? I'm I'm decided I need to wait for the tables that I'm going to get. Because I do need to see where it needs to be leveled and stuff. So, yeah. But I will see you guys later. Um, I need to get some more of this. Because I be spraying it down, baby. Mm. But yeah, I will, I will talk to you guys later, okay? Bye. This is how it looks with the pictures up. Um, It's going to have to grow on me. I think I should have got black frames instead of white. I don't know. But probably if I change my comforter, it'll probably flow better to me. I'm gonna get this situated during this week. I'm about to show y'all Harley's because Harley's is so cute. I picked the perfect color for her, but yeah, this is how it came out. So hers are super cute. I think they go really well with her covers and everything. Like it's a nice little balance. All right, y'all. So I'm just eating leftovers for dinner tonight. The greens and the chicken and the candy yam. School was cool we did dissect it wasn't even really dissecting so i don't know why it was called that of a brain a sheep's brain today but i'm pretty really lock in until it gets warm outside because it's like this weather is so annoying so it's really cold right now but over the weekend it was so nice like so nice top down Y'all see I had on biker shorts, like it was really nice. I think until the weather is like consistently nice, I'll probably just be chilling and getting this schedule down pat. Like I've been planning on being a part of the 5 a.m. crew for so long and it just hasn't happened. But it's like, I feel like before I moved, I wasn't getting adequate sleep. Um, I just be restless when I have a lot going on. And then also like naturally, I have more energy around like 1 a.m. to like 3, 4. It's, it's, that's just how my body is, I don't know why. And then I feel like until I fully get unpacked, I'm gonna be like trying to complete as much as I can throughout the day. And like I said, it's not enough hours in a day. It's literally not. I feel like they done took some time away, like at least 30 minutes or something, because these days are short. I already have my whole day mapped out, like if I was to get on board at 5 a.m. Get up at 5, clean my face, oxygen, oxygenate my brain, go for a run with your, 
go in the gym, come back, take a shower, get Harley situated, take her to school, and like my body's gonna be more awake. I'm gonna have some time for God in the morning, like when I'm on my run and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Then I'll be more awake. I just feel like I'll be more productive that way and I'll have more time in my day. But it's like when I was in my old place, I really had a schedule down pat, like as far as editing and all that stuff. I'm trying to think. Well, I did add um, my live with my friends on Wednesdays because that really used to be the bulk of my editing on Wednesdays but I told my sister I told my sister moving forward what I'm gonna start doing is like during the weekend like when I am vlogging I'm gonna start uploading my content the day that same day and try to edit it like whatever content I got out of that day y'all know that my upload well if you're new here you don't know because my videos have been giving me problems i've been having technical difficulties but my upload schedule is every saturday at 12. it's not every other saturday it's not every monday it's saturdays at 12. but the last two videos have given me problems i had uploaded them outside of my normal schedule so yeah i just need to get on a schedule create a to-do list i'm also going to probably buy the virtual training um, sessions from my previous trainer that I had because he's really good. And then I feel like that will help me like also because I'll just be committed to that. I feel like structure and just having things to do will keep me on a straight and narrow as far as like my schedule goes. So I'm just about to start planning it out and getting back to that i haven't even been taking my vitamins like which is not me y'all know i was like on the vitamins heavy taking my vitamins again and just being a better version of myself this year i told y'all that consistency was what i wanted to master i don't think i'm doing horrible but i could definitely be doing better and that's like a really good thing Taking accountability is really good and noticing like things that you need to work on and improve is like, it speaks volume for your character, I feel like. And I always know there's room for improvement. You're never perfect. So yeah, I just need to work on those things and just get a little better. And like six months from now, what is it? March in September, things are gonna be totally different and even better. So yeah, that's it you guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this vlog to a close. It's Monday night. I really hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload. Join the gang, you're gonna love it here, I promise. Until next time, bye guys. Mm -hmm.